Chef Pennington here. Today we're doing something really fun. We're doing French toast roll-ups. Cool take on French toast. That's absolutely delicious. Great texture. And you can make it ahead. It stores nicely in the refrigerator. So you can wake up Saturday morning and have this ready to go. No problem. We're going to use a serrated blade. A serrated blade just has those little edges on the little rounded edges on the bottom. It makes for a cleaner cut. It's just a lot easier. It won't tear on your bread or anything like that. This recipe is scaled for eight. You guys could actually make more than that, um, but I just went with eight. I've taken a cup here and smoothed it out. You guys can use a rolling pin. The whole idea is just to get it really flat. The reason you want it really flat is so when we roll it up, it keeps its nice shape. It's going to help nothing fall out, all that kind of stuff. Plus, when you're eating it, it'll it'll have all very similar textures. So take your time there and go ahead and make sure you get it flat. What I end up doing there is just hitting each of the edges one extra time after flattening it out. So we're going to do eight of those, and then we're going to fill it up. What are we going to fill with? That's the cool thing, whatever you guys like. For this recipe, I'm using some strawberries here, and I'm going to do a fairly small cut on them. I'm not doing a mince or something like that. But these are going to turn into like long strips the way we're going to cut this here. So we're going to start off going one direction. The trick to cutting a strawberry or even a tomato is to start the knife off really gently on the outside flesh and then push down. If you just come into it and push down, you're going to cut yourself or something not good is going to happen. So just feel the edge and then start going through and let the knife do the work. So we got our strawberries. That's good. So we're going to use some cream cheese with our strawberries. Who doesn't love some cream cheese? Nice and creamy, obviously. And the sweetness from the tomato wakes up the whole the whole wonderfulness of French toast. Because French toast can often be a little bit heavy. So the nice bright pop of, of strawberry is really nice. I loved it personally. And the tell is really good too. So we're going to do two different fillings here. So one side is going to be where we're filling. And the reason we put cream cheese on the other end is that's our glue. So once we roll it up, it's going to stay together nicely for us. And texture. You guys know I'm big on texture. So a little almond or whatever you guys like. It really did bring to the dish. When you're eating it, you'll know it's in there. It's not crunchy, but it's a nice texture. It's really cool. So we're going to roll it up. Take your time. It just looks better if you take your time. Plus, you can get your kids in there. They can be your they can be your little workers and roll these up for you. You guys can make 100 of them in no time. So there's our first one. Let's do one with some Nutella. And Nutella is... Hazelnut in a chocolate mix. It's really good. Um, I've actually not used a lot of Nutella in my day. So I used it for this and I thought it was great. I really liked the Nutella one, I think, better than the cream cheese. But they were both so good, it's hard to pick. So we're rolling up here, taking our time. And then the glue. The glue really, don't miss out on the glue. Plus it's a, it's a good way to act, add extra filling and flavor. So let's make our batter for our French toast. You could use this just as a recipe for regular French toast. This is pretty much the exact same. So we're using two eggs. Don't use three unless you guys want to scale the, the, the dish up. By going for this recipe, be sure to use just two because three gets a little bit too thick. I did try it, matter of fact. So here we go. We got two going. I'm going to mix them pretty well. And to this, we're going to add... Our usual friends, a little bit of sugar. It's a third a cup. I've got one ingredient that's going to go in here that I think most people don't use, and I highly suggest you do. It's really cool. It's coming up here in a sec. Get our vanilla in there. Vanilla does add a nicer depth of flavor for all of this. So we got a teaspoon of that. Got some brown sugar, which is nice. It's a little molasses there. Salt. We need salt for flavor. Cinnamon. And here's our, our extra ingredient. We're going to use an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice it really ups the flavor profile and you wouldn't really know it's in there which is great because that's when you're eating you're going wow this is great and delicious why is this so great and delicious well the allspice is the, we'll say is the secret ingredient so let's cook these guys off they'd cook fairly quick which is really great uh, some french toast yeah, some people tend to overcook it or they over soak it this is just get it in there coat everything and get it out so we've got butter and a little bit of a neutral oil, like vegetable oil in there. And the reason we do that is so that the butter does not want to burn for you. And as soon as that butter is melted, that's when you want to start adding them in there. You don't really want to let the butter brown up too much. So just watch. So once the butter is melted, you're ready to go. It's a really nice color, isn't it? So once we're browned up on all sides, we're going to go into a mixture of sugar and cinnamon. 
almost like a chiro, which is a you know Mexican dessert, which is really good, fried donut kind of goodness. Well, this is kind of an in-betweener of that, really. So let's plate it up. Bunch of ways to plate it. I made a stack because they look like logs, and I think it looked cool. Little bit of a strawberry to garnish. And you can stick that in the refrigerator just like that, guys. This is really good. I love it. You guys are going to love it. It stores great in the refrigerator. That's the whole make-ahead parts. So don't cover it up or it'll get kind of mushy. Join us on social media. We'd love to have you guys. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. There's a printable recipe card on the website link below. You guys have the best one. Take care.